good video coming for you guys today. Um, as you see, we're on the road and I have an enclosed trailer behind me. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my car in there. Uh, it'll still be a little while on that one, but I am headed to go race still. Um, going to meet Streetcar Joe, Joseph Young. Um, we're going to take his car to Streetcar Takeover Oklahoma City. Uh, we're going to take the enclosed because there's some chances of rain, so I want to keep everything dry. Uh, but I'm um, headed to Amarillo now to meet up with him and we'll uh, swap the trailer over to his truck, get his car all loaded up, and then leave tonight. We are headed to XRP. We're going to get a little bit of testing in before tomorrow. And then tomorrow is Saturday, which is uh, the day of the event. And as long as it doesn't rain out. Um, if it does, then they're going to redo it on uh, Sunday. So it uh, should get some good racing, though. They're supposed to bring in some people to prep the track, so it should be real sticky. should be some real fast passes. And I also got a new camera, as you may be able to tell, so we'll have a lot better footage this time. No more GoPro footage outside the car. It doesn't quite do very well from uh, long distances, so we uh, should have a lot better video for you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. We got the car all in, strapped down. Got to pack a few more things and then we'll be good to go. Hi guys, we made it to the track. We drove through a lot of rain. As you can see behind me, these clouds are not looking the greatest. So it's actually kind of sprinkling a little bit right now. So hopefully we can make some passes. But uh, this is the reason that we put it in the enclosed. It got a little bit of uh, rain on it, but better than it would have been if it was uh, in an open trailer and you know keep it out of the turbo and everything like that so anyways hopefully if it does rain it'll just pass real quickly or uh you know i don't know i guess if not then we're just headed to oklahoma city and uh, we ended up actually coming to uh, pinwell uh caprock motorplex because it was uh, the rain chances were too high in uh, dallas and uh, everywhere else so we'll see what happens guys so as you've seen earlier we had some uh, rain that we were dealing with but uh, we went ahead and uh, got something to eat and then came back to the track and they're drying it out I think they've uh, got some a couple cars gone down maybe already so we're gonna get the uh, suspension set up and go ahead and uh, see if we can make some hits and uh, get some test passes in and then we'll head to Oklahoma City and uh, race tomorrow pretty clean hit. Um, it didn't look like he pedaled it to me. Uh, we turned it down a little bit because the track wasn't uh, wasn't super nice but it looked like a pretty clean hit so I'm sure he's gonna look at the data and make some changes and see if we can do one more hit and then we'll hit the road.
it down. Uh, this track isn't quite the level that we're going to be running on uh, tomorrow in Oklahoma City. It's supposed to be bringing in someone pretty good to prep it, so it'll be pretty sticky there. But uh, got some uh, pretty good results for this track and um, got some good data to go off of. So uh, now we're going to head to Oklahoma City and we'll probably be driving just about all night and then find somewhere to sleep and uh, drive the rest of the way in the morning. And, Hopefully get some good racing in tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much. It's supposed to rain in the morning, but um, I don't think it'll be too bad. Uh, they should be able to dry the track out and we'll be racing at night time. So it should be pretty good though. Uh, once we finally got some testing, we uh, didn't think we were going to. We drove you know, four hours in the opposite way and thought that uh, the rain was gonna kill us, but they uh, got the track fixed up and dried off and that's a good uh, couple hits at least. So good to go. Now we'll uh, get this thing tied down real quick and get on the road. Quite a bit of driving, about three or four hours of sleep. We made it during uh, streetcar takeover of Oklahoma City. Uh, we're right next to uh, Ryan Mitchell, actually, a KC Max right over there. Uh, real fast car, I'm sure everyone knows about that one. Does a lot of street stuff and wins all kinds of stuff. And Derek Kelly is here, and uh, quite a few other fast cars are supposed to be here, so it should be a good day of racing and some fast passes. So hopefully, we can make a pretty good hit off the trailer and work up from there. It's a uh, Obviously a new car and hasn't gone quite as fast as most of these guys around here, so uh, we'll see see what we can do. Good number of cars here today, man. A lot. That's good. I just gotta get these sprinkles stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, man. Hey guys, we got through tech. Um, as you can see, we pulled back in the trailer. It was uh, sprinkling a little bit. It seems like it might rain a little bit. Um, so we're just going to leave it in the trailer for now until it's uh, closer to time so the car doesn't get all dirty and uh, get all wet. But um, it's a uh, dual entered and uh, small tire and street racer class. So it's a quarter mile class and the car doesn't really have the gear for that. But more test hits and uh, the more data is always good. All right, so unfortunately, as you can see, we're loading up. Uh, we're heading out. It's we didn't get any racing today, but we're going to stay tomorrow. I hope, but we kind of hoped we'd get first round off today, so at least we wouldn't have to be super late tomorrow. We got like, you know, six hours after this to drive home, so uh, it sucks, but you know, we don't want to be home Sunday night or, you know, Monday morning at two or three o'clock in the morning, so it sucks, but you know, this happens. That's what happens whenever you have a chance of rain. Sometimes this happens, so, anyways, uh, still got a little bit of testing in, and uh, yeah. Alright guys, so as you've seen, the weekend didn't quite go as planned, uh, but at least uh, Saturday we did get to hang out with uh, some good car friends, you know. Um, it was nice to do that after not being able to go to a track, uh, or at least a track with very many people for a long time, so it was uh, pretty cool to see that, and uh, we had a good time for sure, hanging out with uh, David Van Voris and, uh, you know, all, all those guys. Um, one thing that I didn't make very clear in the video is uh, I'm not tuning on Joe's car, um, I haven't done any tuning on it. Uh, all I did was, uh, was pretty much just a crew member and kind of suggested what I thought the track could take um, and, uh, you know, helped out, get them lined up and everything. So, anyways, um, I'm pretty happy with the new camera. It's uh, much better quality, as uh, you guys can tell, I'm sure. So, I uh, should have much better videos from here on. I do need to get a, uh, a little um, a wind block or whatever for the mic. Um, I didn't get that in time. So I'm um, going to have one of those, so it'll be much better next time. And also, I still have some learning to do on the filming. But I'm uh, definitely happy with the camera, and I'll uh, get some uh, much better footage from now on for sure. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe.